All right, once we have navigation under our belt, then we are going to check out a different brush. We're going to start to do something slightly differently. So what I'm going to do is come all the way up here to the brush palette. I'm going to select a brush called Clay Builder. If you were really observant to this video, you'll notice that I had already selected that because in between sessions I had changed the brush. And then I used a hotkey to select the move brush. But what we want to do now, what's really basic and simple for you is click this guy, come on down. You, this is really important. See how if I go from one item to another, it changes? So you got to move left, or sorry, right. Don't try not to work diagonally or in circles because things get messed up. Just click and drag to the right. Duh, or move your cursor to the right. We're going to go blob clay clay build up. And I can see at the very bottom of the screen it says clay build up, the number five, that's my hotkey for it, and then the base type clay. So I'm going to just select this. I'm going to lower my draw size because now instead of working on the overall shape silhouette, I'm going to be working on interior things. The nose, the eye, the mouth, all of that stuff and start to really landscape this. So I'm going to position him in a front view, so I click, drag, press shift, lift, and I'm going to move him and scale him. Again, it's just move and scale. And with the clay build-up brush, I can now start to adjust the topology, not the topology, I mean that in a mapping sense. I can just start to adjust the shape of this. But notice that I am pulling out. When actually, in terms of the eye, what I want to do is push in. So that introduces us to Z add and Z sub. So Z add pushes in. Z sub, um, you have to forgive my dyslexia there. Z add pulls out. <laughs> Z sub pushes in. Let's see what happens if we come in into Z sub. There you go. But now, a really easy way to do that is you just press Alt, the Alt key. If you press the Alt key, even though it's Z add is on, I'm pressing Alt, it's pushing in. So that makes things really easy. So we use Shift to navigate and lock to views. We use Alt. So what you're going to notice is that if the keyboard is shaped like this, your hands spend your left hand, depending on your your uh, your handedness, uh, is going to be down in that bottom left corner. All right. Now I need to undo these, so I'm just going to press Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and they go away. And just as a side note, you actually have an undo slider right here. So you can go all the way back to the beginning, or just back a few. So now what we want to do is get in there and start to sculpt the topology, the, the shape of it. So I'm going to press Alt, start to carve the eye in. And then I pull down to start to establish the front plane of the face, and I pull across to start to separate the nose. Then I'll pull across to separate the brow from the frontal eminence, and I actually start to pull out to, to separate the frontal bone from the back. And then down to separate the nose from the brow. I might increase my draw size, add a little bit of the frontal eminence right there. Sagittal crest, if I really, if I'm going for a guy or a gorilla. Press shift, put it into space. All right. So that's a first step block in. And most of what I did was use clay buildup and alt and just pushed form in. 
So get yourself somewhere along this positioning, and I'm going to outline my strokes here in green. First thing I did is started to dig the eyes in. And then I would pull that form. Once I've dug it in, I would pull it down to start to establish the front plate of the face. I pulled it across to start to separate out the nose. And then a line to separate the brow from the frontal eminence. And then I would pull a line out to start to separate the frontal bone from the occipital and, and all the rest of that, cephanoidal, all the rest. Because at this point, we're really going to start to make the high point of the face out there towards the back of the head. We're going to really start to offset the cheekbone so that that's furthest out, one of the furthest out points. We're going to take this corner of the eye. We're going to make sure that's moved inwards and set ourselves up for a successful portrait sculpt or head sculpt. So go ahead and get yourself to this stage. Just get this basic stuff set up. You know, pause this video, um, move forward with it. Uh, with your sculpt until you're right here at this stage. Try to keep your brush strokes real simple like I did. Don't uh, pack them on. Try to get your draw size the right size so that it creates the right size stroke. You might not think it's important, but it is everything. The size of your brush, the stroke you make, the simpler you're able to make that, the better off everything's going to be.